Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have seen the introduction to binary search tree and how to create and how to insert an elements into the binary search tree. So, and also the different operations that we can perform on binary search tree. So in this session, we'll go with the one more operation that is deletion. So how to delete an element from the binary search tree and what is the procedure? deletion in by BST. BST is binary search tree. So just recall the property of binary search tree. So it is a, a variant of binary tree. That means every node should have an at most two children and also consider the root node and all the elements which are less than the root node should be in the left subtree and all the elements which are greater than the root node must be in the right subtree and this should be followed in this also. So while uh, deleting an element from the binary search tree, it should not violate the property of BST. So even though you delete the element from the binary search tree, the, uh, the elements less than the root node should be in the right, uh, left subtree and the elements greater than a root node should be in the right subtree. See. So here uh, we can delete an element in three cases. So first case, Deleting an element or deleting a node with no children. So we know that it's a, a variant of binary tree. Every node will be having at most two children. At most two children means we can have a zero, one or 2. Every node will be having either 0, 1 or 2 children. So deleting a node with no children deleting a node having one child Deleting a node having two children. Right. right. So these are the three cases we can uh, follow while deleting an element from the BST. So here element or node both are equal. Right. So let us see one by one. So we have to delete an element from the BST so that the tree should not violate the property of BST. Let us consider the first thing. Deleting a node having a no children. That means leaf nodes. Leaf nodes. So let us take an example. So there will be no problem if you delete the elements of a leaf node, right? So that the property should will not violate the BST, right? So let us take an example so that uh, you will be understand, right? Right. So let us say, let us take this example so that first we will construct the binary search tree and then we will delete the leaf elements. So first consider the root node. Then three, three is less than eight, so it should be in the left subtree. Ten, greater than, so right subtree. One, less than, so again one is less than three, so left subtree of three, six less than 8 and greater than 3 so here it will be inserted 14 greater than 8 and greater than 10 
so right right side 4 less than 8 and greater than 3 and less than 6 7 less than 8 greater than 3 greater than 6 13 so greater than 8 right so greater than 10 less than 14 So this one is a 14. This is the binary tree. Okay, for this elements. Now delete the nodes which are having a no children. So that means leaf nodes. So here the leaf nodes are one. So because it doesn't have any children, comma 13. Number 13. Only two elements are there. This one. This one. So, deleting the elements or deleting the nodes with no children doesn't affect the BST. Just remove the connection between this element and parent element and just free this node. So, after deleting the elements, we get 8, 3, 10, 6, 4, 7, 14. That's it. Right? So after deleting one and thirteen. Right? Just we have removed the connection between the leaf node and the parent node. Right? And here let us check the property of BST. 8 is a root node so that this subtree, the complete left subtree should contain the elements which are less than 8. So 3 is less than 8, 6 is less than 8, 4, 7. All these are elements are less than 8. Right? Next, this is the right subtree. So we know that all the elements of a right subtree should contain a greater than the root node. So here 10, 14. Both elements are greater than 8. Right? So it satisfies the BST even though deleting the leaf nodes 1 and 13. So there is no issues. Simply we can remove the connection and we can free the node. If it is a leaf node. So that is the first thing. We will go with the second thing. So deleting a node having one children that means one child one child right? so let us take the same example Same example. See, deleting a node having one chain. So we have to delete a node which is having only one chain. So here 8 is having two children, 3 is having two children, 6 is having two children, and coming to this 10 having only one children. 10 is having only one chain. So single child nodes what is that 10 comma and 14 is also having only one chain so 14 so we can delete the elements 10 and 14 so first let us delete the 10 first let us delete the 10 so simply simply if you delete the 10 the child will becomes the uh, child will replace the position of the parent so if the, ch the parent is having only one child, the child will replace the position of the parent. So here, child will replace the position of a parent. This is the only thing happens 
in deleting a node having one child so after deleting an elements let us check the property of a bsg now we will delete the 10th element deleting 10 after deleting 10 see 8 3 1 6 4 7 right right then we are deleting the 10 so what is the child of a 10 it's a 14 right we have we are deleting the element 10 so what is the child of 14 so here the statement is child will replace the position of a parent so 14 will replace the position of a 10 so 14 becomes the child of 8 because 10 is a child of 8 so 14 13 so let us check whether uh, it violates uh, B, the property of BST. So this is the left subtree. So in the left subtree, the elements are less than 8. So 3. So in this subtree, again, the elements of left subtree should have the less than root. That means less than 3. Less than, I mean greater than 3. So 6, 4, 7 are greater than. And coming to the left subtree, greater than four, greater than 8 so 14 and 13 are greater than 8 and coming to this 14 the 13 is less than 14 so 13 is a left subtree of 14 right so it doesn't violate the property of bst it doesn't violate the property of bst even we deleting the element 10 so let us take a 14 let us delete the 14 from here. See, here we will write. Deleting 14. Right, because 14 is a node with only one child. So let us delete the 14. So if you observe here, the 14 is having the child 13. So from the statement, child will replace the position of a parent. So 13 will be the position of 14. 13 will be replaced with the position of 14. See, 8, 3, 1, 6, 4, and 7. And see, 13 will be replaced to the position of 14. So, 13. Right? So, after deleting the 14 from this one, okay, from this one, from this BST, after deleting the 10, we will get this one, this BST. From this BST, again, if you delete the 14, we will get this one. Right? So, hope you understood. So, again, you can observe the property of BST. So, it, it is also it doesn't violate the property of BST even though we are deleting the 14. So this is how we can delete an L, a node which is having only one child. Right. Now, two children. So how to delete a node having two children? See, here we can, uh, we have to modify simple thing. So, deleting a node with two children. So, here also we can replace the parent position with uh, another node, right? Another child. Here also we can replace. parent with child okay 
we can replace parent with child so in that the child can be the child can be minimum element of right subtree or child can be maximum element of left subtree right two cases we can replace so here also if you are deleting a parent right so here we are deleting a parent which is having a two children so here we can replace a parent with a child we can replace a parent with a child one is from the left child uh, left subtree one may be from the right subtree so any one can consider so if you consider the left subtree the minimum uh, sorry the maximum element from the uh, left subtree should be replaced and if you consider the minimum uh, right subtree the minimum element from the right subtree should be replaced any one should be happen but not both okay the parent can be replaced with the child either from left subtree or right subtree based upon this condition right now let us check here now so here what are the nodes which are having a two children nodes with two children so first one eight eight is a root node it's having two children three is having a two children six is having a two children eight three six right so three elements are there we can delete the three elements here in the third case so let us consider one by one so let us consider the six let us consider the first six let us delete the six so uh, deleting the six six should be replaced with a child from either left subtree or a right subtree so if you consider the left subtree the maximum element should be replaced see so here Eight, three, ten, one, six, four, seven, fourteen, thirteen. See if you observe here, if you observe here. So we are replacing the six, right, with either left subtree or right subtree. So left subtree means maximum element. So here only two elements. We can replace either with four or seven. So if you replace the four, we have to delete this element four, right? After replacing, we have to delete this element. So deleting this element means this is a leaf node. So we can directly delete this. right so this is one way how to delete a node so, so the parent node will be replaced with the either left child or right child so uh, coming to the left child we have to consider the maximum element and uh, coming to the right child we have to consider the minimum element so this we can uh, apply or or you can go with the seven that means replacing the child with the element from right subtree so we can replace six with either four or seven so even deleting the four six also the property of bst is not violated because all the elements of the left subtree are less than eight all the elements of right subtree are greater than eight right so coming to the three so if you delete the element three See, deleting an element from, uh, I mean, deleting the node 3. So, 
the position of tree can be replaced with the child of left subtree or right subtree. So here consider the left subtree. First case consider the left subtree. So here the it is a leaf node. It doesn't have any children, right? So it will be directly replaced with the tree. So one thing is if you replace the tree, if you replace the parent tree with the left node, that is one. The tree is like this. This is also correct, right? So we can replace the parent with child from the left subtree or right subtree. If you consider left subtree, we have to go with the maximum element. So here the maximum element is only one. One element is there. So we can replace the parent with the, that particular element. So one is here and we can simply delete this node, leaf node. So one, so the six is greater than one. So it is on left side of the one, right side of the one and 4 which is gr greater than 1 and less than 6 so 4 is also on the right subtree but left to 6 and 7 which is greater than 1 and 6 so 7 is placed at greater than I mean greater so it should be placed at the right side right subtree so it, it, this also doesn't violate the property of binary search tree so if you Right. So, second case, if you want to replace the parent from the right children. So, right children means this one. Right. From this right subtree, we have to replace the element. What is the a maximum element of right subtree? Seven. Seven. So, ma sorry, sorry. Minimum element of right subtree. What is the minimum element of this right subtree? Four. Four. So, 4 can be replaced with the, I mean, 3 can be replaced with the 4. So, if you replace this 3 with 4, and we have to simply delete this element. This is a normal. Again, this is a leaf node. So, there will be no problem. And while deleting also, we have to follow the same procedure. Whether it is having a no children or one children or two children. So, here 4 is having... Uh, no children. It's a leaf node. So there is a no change. So we can simply disconnect the link and we can free the space. So after deleting the three, after deleting the three, we are choosing the child from right subtree. So we are choosing the minimum value. So that is replaced with the parent. Right. So So th this is also correct. It doesn't all. It, it also doesn't violate the BST, right? So for the less than elements are on left, right? Greater than elements are on right side. So hope you understood this one. Okay, right. Now Right. So now let us delete an element eight. Eight. So if you want to delete an element eight, if you want to delete an element eight, so that can be done from the left subtree or the right subtree. Left subtree or a right subtree. Right. Coming to the left subtree. Coming to the left subtree. We have to replace the element with the maximum value of left subtree. So what is the maximum of left subtree? 7. So 8 can be replaced with 7. So here 8 can be replaced with 7. So there are two nodes. So we have to remove this 7. So there should not be a duplicates. We have to delete the 7. Again follow the same procedure. Uh, check whether the 7 is a leaf node or a node with one child or node with two chains and follow the same procedure so here it is a leaf node so simply we can remove the element so it doesn't violate the property bst property because all the elements of left subtree are less than seven so three is less than seven one is less than seven and less than three so it is a left subtree and a 6 which is less than 7 and greater than 3 and a 4 which is less than 7 and 
greater than 3 and less than 6. Right? So 10, 14, and 13. So it doesn't violate the VST property. So this is one way. So this is one way if you choose a child from left subtree. Right? Now we will go with the right subtree. So if you want to replace this position with the element from uh, right subtree, so we have to find the minimum element. Minimum element. So what are the elements of right subtree? 10, 14 and 13. 10, 14 and 13. So among these 10, 14, 13, what is the minimum element? 10. So 10 should be replaced uh, by, I mean 10 should be replaced to position of 8. So if you replace this 8 with 10, we have to delete this 10 node, right? So in order to delete this 10 node, see 10 is again, it's a, a node with one chain. So node with one chain means simply we can replace the position of a parent with a chain, only one chain. So we can replace the position of parent with that particular chain. So 10 is replaced with 14. Again, 14, we have to delete the 14. So 14 is not a leaf node. So 14 should be, again 14 is also a node with a single element. So 14 should be replaced with chain. So here 13, right? And 13 is a leaf node. So simply we can remove the 13. Simply we can remove the 13. So this is how we have to apply the deletion operation. So after deleting the element, so just deleting an element means replacing the parent position with a child. And after replacing the uh, parent with child, and we have to remove that original position of that particular child. And after, uh, also for removing that original position of the child, we have to follow the same procedure. Right? Don't get confused and it was simple, easy and uh, hope you understood this one. Right? So three ways we can delete the, three ways we can delete uh, an, an element from the BST. One is uh, leaf nodes, a node with uh, one child and node with two childs. Right? So if you are having any doubts regarding the, this deletion process, uh, so feel free to post your uh, uh, doubts in the comment section so that I will definitely try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really understood my sessions, like my sessions, share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.